Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl, Lock Looney Tune. So let's talk about the time my husband made a real good attempt to be romantic. When I was younger, I was living with my grandmother and I had my own room. And my room had a lock on the door. I was allowed to have a lock on the door. I was in um, my early teens. I think I was about maybe 15, something like that. In that age range area and stuff. At the time, I was uh, being courted, I guess, by my husband, my boyfriend at the time. He used to come visit me and my family knew him well and my grandmother knew him well and things like that. So he would come see me over my house almost at least two to three times every week it was regular so he saw me pretty frequently I was at a time in my life when I did not like for my boyfriends to go home we would spend the whole entire day together doing things that did not require money at the time so we were like going to the park spending time talking at the playground sitting on my front porch doing things like that I had this notion I was like okay well I was trying to figure out how in the world could I get him back into my house without having my grandmother know about it now at the time my grandmother um, she had recently had a stroke she was moved they moved her she lived we lived in a two-story house so she had you know two floor house she was upstairs at one time in her bedroom and then they moved her downstairs to a day bed in the living room area so she could be closer to the front door and it was easy you know accessible and stuff like that so let's just say she was right there like the front door was there and my grandmother was there so if you came in through the front door she would know you were in the house because she was always there there was no way for me to get my boyfriend into the house without her knowing about it there was just no way I had a discussion with my boyfriend about this Chris my husband I had a I just said well you know I want you to come over my house and he was like well I'll be there you know every day or I'll come tomorrow and he was like and I was like nah I want you to come spend the night he was like okay well how do I go about doing that the wheels in my head started turning I was just like how do I figure out how to make this work I need to figure out a way to make this work and I couldn't figure out a way to make it work I asked him and he figured out a way to make it work he said just go in the house um, go upstairs to your room at the end of the night I guess in the evening and I'll be there I didn't even think about how he was going to accomplish this I just you know left it up to faith and was like okay I trust him wholeheartedly I'm pretty sure he can figure out how to do this and how to make this happen and at the time I had a cat in my room you know I had a cat you know and he she, he would always stay in my room with me most of the time I'm in my room all of a sudden I see my cat he runs to my bedroom window now outside of my bedroom window there is a tree now it's not a big tree it's not like an oak tree or anything like that it is a neighborhood tree It's like a fairly scrawny looking Charlie Brown Christmas tree it is like the weakest thing ever and in, in in my backyard but the the tree is like right next to my window my cat runs to the window he looks he's just sitting on the windowsill and he's looking outside the window and I'm looking at him like Lassie like what is it boy what do you hear something what's going on outside I'm sitting in the window cuz I'm like I'm pretty sure something is going on outside in the backyard cuz that's where my window faces it faces the backyard and not the front as I look out the window and it's late at night my window faces the alley and I'm looking in the alley and there's not a lot of light out there but as I see I see my boyfriend walking down the alley this is what I see him doing I see him walking down the alley I see him coming into my backyard scaling the fence which is a rather high fence in my backyard I watch him climb over the fence I watch him scale up the side of my backyard where the fence ends where my fence ends and the neighbor's fence begins. He walks along the fence. He walks along the fence like a tightrope walker. It's ridiculous. He goes to the tree and he climbs the tree and he comes all the way up into my window. He gets up to the window. That's when my cat jumps down. I open my window because I'm freaking out like, what the hell? Then he's like, okay, are you just going to stand there? Are you just, are you going to let me in? So I let him in. 
So you know, you know what happens pretty much after that, you know, you know, yeah, the grown up thing. He was doing that on a regular, like it wasn't just one, that wasn't just one time, like he continuously came over my house like that after he would see me all day and he would constantly spend the night at my house and this went on for months. I tell you, this went on for months. You know, it was really sweet of him for him to do that for me. And I know you guys who have been watching my channel for a long time understand that um, me and my husband have gone through a whole lot of things. I mean, we've been through a lot of shit, like good and bad. But whenever I think about the old times and when I think about how much history we do have, like this coming November we will have been married for 10 years. Even though we've been through a lot of stuff, I always think about that and when anyone asks me what is the most romantic thing my husband has ever done for me, I can always say, that nigga climbed a tree for me, don't you know it? I am just so floored by that and to this day I just think that is one of the most romantic things he's ever done for me and I seriously think of it as my Romeo and Juliet moment between me and him. So guys, with that being said, I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Until Veda Day 4, peace.